Hey, this is Ben Solomon, and welcome to this episode of the Techno Leadership Show. In this episode, I want to cover something that I hear from some people. I've read it in certain forums and in Reddit places as well, where people have determined that they want to become a tech or engineering manager and then go on to do the work that's required before uh, figuring out after they've gotten a job that they absolutely feel out of place. Now, one thing I can say from personal experience, as well as having worked with people who have guided through their career process, is that we never feel ready for a role till we get there and grow into the role. And this is something that I've said to students who are coming out of university, graduation. Uh, I had the opportunity recently to speak to my um, the university that I graduated out of in Melbourne. And I said the same thing to graduating students. The thing is, ultimately, no matter what role you're getting into, no matter how much skill development you do, how much experience you've gotten from different fields, until you get into that role and grow into it, you're always going to have a sense of imposter syndrome or the feeling that you are out of place. And that's normal because the thing is, no matter how much we study, read books, do courses, build skills, all of that, until you get into a specific role and in a specific um, company as well, we don't know what exactly it's going to look like. We are going to fumble and learn the first 60 to 90 days especially is crucial because one, you want to set a bar that you deserve to be there, but at the same time, you need to have the humility and create space for yourself to be able to absorb what that environment's like, what that particular role's requirements and expectations are because the thing is you can have a role description and you think you're perfectly suited for it, all of that we apply for the role you get the role because they feel um, the company hr your potential future manager all feel like you are the perfect person for this role but what happens is there are expectations that are set that is usually not said in any of the job descriptions or anything else. And how you find this out is start building good relationships with your team members, the people that you lead. Start building good relationship with your manager and other people of key positions and key influence in the organization. Because even if they don't directly manage you or directly have anything to do with you, they have certain expectations of how things should be or they feel should be from a role that you're in. You could be just a team leader in a big organization of tech professionals or engineers, or you could be the tech manager or even the tech director, CIO, CTO. But you have this expectation that silent around the organization of what you would be doing and how you would work with everyone else. So the best way to go about understanding this is knowing that no matter what role you go into, even if it's in the same company that you have been working for three, five, whatever years, and you're going into the next role, as much as you might have you know, spoken to your previous manager and you know gotten information on what that role would look like if that person went uh, to a higher role or left the company, until you get there, until you see a day-to-day what's going on, what the expectations are, what the silent expectations are, all of that, and then figure out how you're going to deal with each of this in a manner where you don't break the expectations of those people, but at the same time, you set your own guidelines of how you're going to operate. Because ultimately, you have to set certain boundaries of how you're going to show up, how you're going to operate, and how you're going to manage your team in a way that it protects them from unnecessary um, pressure from others, but at the same time allows them the space to grow 
allows them space to be able to do their best work and allows you the space to be able to do your best work and give the outcomes that you're there to give. So the main things are this, in the first 60 to 90, maybe even 120 days, one third of a year, take time to understand the environment, understand the people, understand the people's expectations, the expectations that they say out loud, as well as expectations that they don't say out loud because you'll be able to know from their reaction to certain things what their quiet or silent expectations were. Keep a track of all these things and then work with them to say, hey, um, looks like you were disappointed in the way X project was handled or communication around this was handled. Just wondering, what is your um, expectation? I want to see how I can work with that to give you the best possible outcome while also making sure that we um, have the space to do the work that we need to do. Creating that sort of expectation and understanding and ultimately setting your boundaries after that period of time of understanding how the mechanics of who influences who and what who influences what happens is very important. And once you grow into that, like take take time. Take time to understand the environment. Take time to understand the people who you are managing and other people who come in contact with you and your team or a period of time. And if you find that there are certain skills that you may be lacking, you can go out there and learn those skills. And a lot of the things, no matter how much theoretically you might have learned a skill, when you're using it in real life, in an environment, in your job role, you will tweak things that work and discard things that don't really work in that specific uh, context. And that's how you grow into the role. And after a period of time, um, three, four, six months, you would have found your own contextual position in that organization where you can, you can do your job, you can create a safe space for you and your team, and you have good contact and good relationship communication with the other parts of the company so that expectations are set in line with the needs of the company but also in line with the resourcing and time and everything that you have available with your team and yourself. Hopefully that helps you out. Hopefully that relieves a bit of stress and struggle that you might be having thinking I feel out of place. This is the job I wanted all this time. I worked so hard to get here but now I feel like I'm uh, floundering, I'm stuck, I'm struggling. What do I do? Take it easy. Step back, look at the big picture, look at the whole picture and see how what things need to be moved around, how you need to set expectations and set boundaries and then work backwards from there. Hopefully that helps you out. I wish you all the best in your journey as a tech professional, manager and leader. If you like this episode please hit the like button if you have any questions or comments, please let me know by the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel so that you're notified of future episodes as they are released. Take care and have a great day.